Hey what is up guys it's Shay here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install custom waves, custom PSN icons and custom code boots. So there, this is an easy method to do it and there's other methods to do it but I find this one the safest and the easiest. So if you have a CFW PS3 and want to make it look cooler and better or you just tired of the old look of the CFW PS3 you can do this. So what you're going to want to do is download these three .iso files and then open rebug toolbox or whatever FTP server that you use on your PS3. And then once you've done that, you're gonna want to open up FileZilla and then put in the IP address of your PS3 under host. And once you've done that, you're gonna want to go into dev underscore hdd0. And then once you've done that, if you don't have the folder PS3 ISO, you're going to want to right click and then create directory and then name it PS3 ISO. Now, once you've done that, I've already made it. So I'm just going to press cancel. Now, once you've done it, you're going to want to go into it and then drag these two, three ISO files into it. And then I already did it. So I don't feel like overwriting it. So I'm just going to press cancel on all three of these. And once you've done that, you're going to want to head over to your custom firmware PS3. Now, once you're on your PS3, and if you use Webman games, you're going to want to refresh your HTML and XML so you can actually see it in the games folder. If you use Multiman, you can ignore this and just go into Multiman and launch the game. But if you use Webman, then you're going to have to do this. You either do this or you restart your PS3. So now, once you've done that, you're going to just want to launch the, the code boots collection first or whichever one you want to do. And then now I'm just going to go through all the code boots they have. So this is a code boots when you start your, up your PS3. It's the logo that's going to show up. And as you can see, they have the original ones too. So if you don't like the one that you just installed, you can go back to the original. So I'm just going to install the rebug one because I like that one. And then you're just going to want to press yes and start software now. Now it might take a little bit to restart and yeah. Might be a little laggy too for a bit. Then you're going to want to start up the PSN icons or whichever one you want. Now, I, I'm going to go through all the PSN icons, too. I, they have more, but I didn't feel like going through all of them, and I picked the one that I'd li I liked. And then do the last one, the waves. Now for some reason it didn't like restart my PS3 whenever I pressed yes, before it did. So I'm just going to restart my PS3 because it's kind of laggy right now. As you can see, the rebug logo, the new code boot that starts up, it's it's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna go into my game, and then as you can see, um, that new PlayStation Network logo. So yeah, everything worked. The waves in the background worked. The code boot worked, and the uh, 
PSN icon works. So yeah, this is an easy way to do it. So guys, if you want to change up your PS3, this is perfect way to do it since it's safe and you can go back to the original PSN icon if you want or the originals. So yeah, guys, take care.